me well? Uh, yes, I can hear you well. Okay, nice. Can you see me? Yes, I can see you. Okay, great. Um, how are you today, Andy? Today, I feel uh, normal. Yes. Yeah, it's same with uh, it's same with uh, before. Yeah, same as usual. The same as usual. Okay, great. So, Andy, what is the weather today? Today is uh, we have a raining all day. Oh, it's been raining all day. Yes. yes. So here in my place, it's not raining, but it's very cloudy whole day. But I'm glad oh. because there's no rain. Yes. Yeah, okay. I, I yeah, I like raining weather. Ah, okay. Yeah, dro so raining, raining and snowing. Oh, you like rainy and snowy. So why do you like both weather? Oh, uh, I don't know. I, I just think they are beautiful. And after rain, um <clears throat> the the air is become wet so i will feel very comfortable ah okay yes i do understand that one andy okay so what weather you don't like or not really don't like but maybe you hate it i don't like mm -hmm. i don't like sunny sunny okay. i don't like sunny and uh uh Uh, no, not windy. Uh, and maybe gale. What is that? Gale, like gale? hard, hard wind, wind. Oh, okay. Can you please write that word, Andy? Okay, G A L E. Okay, hold on one sec. Let me check. G-A-L-E? Yes. Ah, okay. I'm not familiar with this weather. Oh. Mm, maybe... Uh... Blustery. Ah, okay. Yes, I understand now. A strong current of air. Yes. Okay, so thank you for that word, Andy. Okay, so now please take a look at your book. Can you see it? I mean, uh, can you see your book on the screen? Uh, ah. Uh, I don't know what page, what page it is. Okay, so please open your book in page 22. 22. You okay? Yes. Okay, so now we are still in unit 2, but unit 2 B, which focus in grammar. So today, Andy, we will be learning present perfect and past simple contrast. Then present perfect simple and continuous. So now, are you ready to start? Uh, grammar? Yes, grammar. Grammar. Are you ready to start? Yes. Okay. So now, Andy, let's take a look at task one. So here in task one, Andy, you're going to find all the examples of the past simple and the present perfect in the article. So now, please read the article loudly. Mike Fountain. 
<coughs> Mike Fountains has the world largest collection of McDonald's material bleer. Uh, this 60 years old McDonald's employees has spent almost 50 years, 50 years collecting everything to do with the fast food restaurant. He has already filled nine rooms of his house with 50, uh, uh, 75 thousands, 75 thousand objects, including toys, uh, badgios. But there is this, but a badges. Uh, uh, badges, cops, and uniforms. Mike has been at McDonald's since uh, 1968. His first job was cooking Big Macs. A Big Macs. A uh, year later, he began collecting uh, baguettes. Baguettes, and he hasn't stopped uh, since. A few years ago, Mike opened his own McDonald's restaurant. He has uh, rec uh, recollected uh, it with um, memoria blea. Huh? Um, memorabilia. 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 Oh, memor uh, memorabilia. Uh, people say uh, it was most beautiful McDonald's restaurant they they're even seen. Say Mike proudly. Okay, so thank you so much for reading that uh, this article, Andy. So yes, this article is very interesting because look at Mike. He likes collecting badges because he's been a fan of McDonald's and not only a fan, but his first job was cooking Big Macs. Okay, have you heard about McDonald's, Andy? Mm, yes, it's a fast food uh, restaurant. Yes, that's right. Do you eat food from McDonald's? Few, very oh, few. Okay, great. So what's your um, favorite fruit? I what is your favorite food from McDonald's? My favorite food. Mm. I forgot. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, I didn't. So uh, uh -huh. I uh, actually, I'm not really like uh, McDonald's. Ah, uh, okay. So may I know why? I don't know. I, I, I'm not very like fast food. Ah, uh, yes, because it's unhealthy, right? Yes. Yes, I do agree with you because fast food, I most of the food in fast food are junk foods. Okay, so because it's good because um, you don't like eating unhealthy foods. So now, Andy, do you have any question about the article that you've read? Uh, no. No question. Okay, so since you don't have any question, let me ask you some few questions. So here it is. Do you know the word memorabilia? No. Okay, so memorabilia, Andy, is like a person who, a, who hoards things, who likes to collect things. So just like Mike, he likes to collect badges. Okay, so these are badges. I'm going to show you another picture of badges. It's like a small, uh, a small thing, like round things where we can put on our clothes. Oh, OK. Yeah, so these are badges. So memorabilia is a noun that means someone who collects or keeps things that they like. OK, so now here it is, Andy. Since you don't have any question, let's take a look with the activity. So please find all the examples of the past simple and past present perfect in the article. So there's one example here. His first job was cooking Big Macs. Okay, so this one is, let me see. Here it is. This one is past simple. Can you find 
other uh, sentence or phrases that is in past simple? Uh, past simple. Uh, okay, so can you still remember past simple? Uh, past simple, yes. Okay, great. Can you find other sentences in here that is in past simple? Hmm. Um. Maybe, uh, yeah, he's, uh, he began collecting badges. Okay, nice. Anything else? Uh, Mike opened his own McDonald's restaurant. Very good. What else? Oh. Uh, He has a record, uh, it was McDo uh, Memorabilia. Memor okay. oh, mem memor memorabilia. Okay, he has decorated it with memorabilia. Can you please say memorabilia? Memorabilia. Okay, so thank you for that. So now let's check your answer. So yes, he began collecting badges. Mike opened his own McDonald's restaurant. Okay, so there are three. It's good because you found two of it. Okay, so now what about in present perfect? So there's one example. Has spent almost 50 years. Okay, so what other sentence? Free sentence that you can see that is in present perfect. Oh, he has been collecting fifty-five thousand objects, including toys, uh, badges, uh, cups, and uniforms. Okay, he. Uh, where is that? Say that again, please. He has already filled oh. this one. He, okay. No, uh, his house, uh, he is collecting 75,000 subjects. Ah, okay, so his house, all of it, right? Yes. Okay, very good. What else? Oh. Uh, Uh, oh, he has opened his uh, restaurant. He has opened his restaurant. Where yeah. is it? Where Mike is opened it? his own McDonald's restaurant since okay. a few years ago. Great. What else? Uh...
That's all. That's all. Okay, so let's see. We have, he has already filled. Very good. Mike has been at McDonald's. So in here, where is it? Mike has been at McDonald's. Okay, this one, Andy. Then, and he hasn't stopped since. Okay, so he has decorated it. That's another one. We also have they've ever seen. So that's it, Andy. So for this one, Andy, you got one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so you got five out of eight in here. Do you have any questions? Oh, uh, no. No questions. Okay, so let's take a look at with the next page. So here it is. So we're going to learn present perfect and past simple. Okay, so this is only a short review, Andy, because you already know present perfect and past simple. So here in past simple tense, there are three forms. Okay, so we have positive, negative, and interrogative. So in the positive one, if we are going to use the linking verb or to be verb, we have subject plus was or where. So example, they were friends. Okay. And if we're going to use the verb, she worked yesterday. Subject plus the verb, ed, because it is in past. So now we have the negative sentence. So we have the forms subject, Plus was not or weren't than the rest of the sentence. So example, they weren't friends. So we have in here the linking verbs are where and weren't. So in the negative one, Andy, why is this negative? Because of the word not, weren't, were not, okay? And this one, uh, we have, if we're going to use the verb, we have subject, did not, plus verb, which is the base form of the verb. Okay, so example, she didn't work yesterday. So we use did not, then the base, base form of the verb without ed. Teacher AM, what is base form? So base form and d usually don't end in ed. Base form is the original uh, verb, just like, uh, let me think went what is the base form of went that is go okay okay yes and lastly we have interrogative one so we have the form was or where plus the subject and the rest of the sentence example can you please read they weren't oh uh. They weren't friends. Yes. Okay. And here, if we're going to use the verb, then we have the form that we should follow. Did plus subject plus verb in base form. Example, did she work yesterday? Okay. So now this one, um, we can see the question mark because it is an interrogative sentence. So in here, Andy, they were in friends. So this one's um, wrong. Okay, so it should be, are they, I, were they, were they, were they friends? Huh? Let me think. They were in friends. Were they, are they friends? They wear it. Okay, so yes. Are they friends? Okay, this asks the question, are they friends? Yes. I know, they weren't friends like that. Okay, so do you have any question about the past simple tense? Past simple tense. Uh... 
just this one. Oh. Oh. Uh, mm -hmm. Sarah, I have a question. Sure. What is uh, that? Uh, is verbs uh like uh is the paper is paper or uh is paper is uh uh countable countable words? Okay, so wow, that's a very interesting question. So yes, paper is a noun. Okay, so paper is not a verb. So your question if paper is countable or not countable. Okay, so yes, paper is countable because we can count the paper. How many paper are there? There are three papers. Okay, oh, but okay. if you refer paper as a whole, we then you can say, I have a pad of paper, but still paper is countable. And it is not a verb because it is a noun. Oh, uh, okay. So any more question, Andy? Oh, no, I didn't have any question. Okay, great. So it's good because you are now in countable and non-countable noun. Where did you learn that one, Andy? I learned it in uh, other places. Oh, nice. From your from your school? Uh, that's all. Okay, so next we have in here present perfect tense okay so now andy when you see this sign what is this in grammar that is oh uh, this is I have tried. This is okay. verbs. Okay, this one, Andy. When you can see this one, what does it mean? Uh, S plus was or were, were or S plus V or ED. Okay, so thank you for reading that one, Andy. So we are now in present perfect tense this one okay so if you can see this one so what is this this is what we call positive form or positive sentence okay so now we have this form subject s is subject subject plus have or has plus past participle Example, can you please read? I have tried. I have tried uh, sushi. I have tried sushi. Okay, great. So tried is in past part is past participle and this one andy please look at this sign so you if you can see that that means negative form or negative sentence okay we have the form subject plus have not or haven't or has not or hasn't plus the past participle example i have not tried sushi and lastly we have this one andy Kindly look at this. So if you can see question mark, so what form is this? What is the name of this one? This is? Oh. Uh, this is as, uh, this is subject plus uh, was not or were not. Or okay, as, then. yeah. Um, okay, so kindly look at this one, Andy. Look at the screen. 
uh, the one that I insert ko. Can you see it? Uh, Hello? Yes, I can see it. Pre okay. Yeah, present perfect sentence. Yes. So now this one, the small one that I circle. So what do you call that? Uh, this is present perfect sentence. Yes, we are now in present perfect sentence. How about this one, Andy, the small one, the question mark? So in grammar, what do you call that? Grammar. Oh, uh, well, we are not sure. Okay. Yeah, so I'm not sure if you, oh, yeah, I'm not sure if you are trying to see this one. Okay, so kindly look at um kindly look at skype so i sent you how we how it is called in grammar so if, if we can see a question mark then that is interrogative form or interrogative ses sentence so we have the form or structure in here andy this is the structure or form have or has plus subject plus part Past participle example. Have you tried sushi? Okay, so now, Andy, do you have any question about this one? Oh, uh, no. Okay, so let's take a look at this one. So, when are we going to use past simple and present perfect? Okay, so we're going to use past simple if it is yesterday a week ago or last year and if the action is already over okay what do you mean by that when the action is finished or is already done okay example we visited a museum yesterday another example i visited uh, the shopping center a week ago so we use past simple if the action is already over just like yesterday a week ago or last year and here please read letter b and d repeated action uh where? oh repeated action in the past every morning she died uh he her exercise okay so here we also use past simple if the action has been repeated in the past. Okay, just like this one. Every morning she did her exercises. Okay, so for this one, Andy, I'm sorry because uh, the first letter should be capital and a sentence should always end with a period. So that's only a little correction. Okay, and now in here, we have letter C, a succession actions in the past so what do you mean by succession so just like this one one hour ago he locked his door and left the house so when we say succession in one sentence there are two action okay just like this one one hour ago he locked his door what happened next and left the house so this is an example of succession actions in the past okay okay great so now andy please make a sentence using past simple or that is in past simple Uh, we use past simple in um, already been, already been something. Yes, you are right. So now let's make a sentence. So I will make my own sentence. One week ago, I went to the shopping center and bought a pair of shoes so can you please make a sentence that is in past simple
Mm, positive from sentence, negative from sentence, or uh, from sentence. Okay. Uh, one week ago, I went to the shopping center and I bought a pair of shoes. Okay, can you please make a sentence that is in past simple? Uh, one, uh, to, to say that again. Um, yes. Can you please make a sentence using past simple? Hmm. Mm, let me think. Okay, sure. Uh, oh, I go to the gym. Uh, I go to the gym when I was. Uh, <clears throat> I go to the gym. Uh, one uh, yesterday. Okay, can you please repeat your sentence? I go to the gym. Uh, I go to the gym yesterday. Very good. So now, Andy, since we are using uh, since that was yesterday, so instead if of go, so what is the past simple or past form of go? So 